I'm Amelie and welcome once again to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching episode four of Cherry Magic. And some people may notice that it has been quite a while since I've been here, more than a month that uh, since my last video on Cherry Magic. Uh, but, you know, we are back to it. We're finally back to it. And also the last episode I did ended up in such a, like in a cliffhanger that... <laughs> It has been killing me. It has been killing me. I just watch um all of the episodes uh because obviously a month is a very long time uh to not to not watch them essentially just to remember like obviously I remember the main characters but you know who else was there what I forgot in this month. So now we're back to it. Uh in our last episode it seemed like we had the promise of a date between Arachi and Kurosawa but no. It suddenly Rukako appears and it ruins all of our plans. He has this work outing, which I can emphasize enough. There is nothing worse than a work outing. Like, even if, uh, you get along with some of your coworkers, it's, it's hell. It's hell. And I can imagine, I mean, obviously it was hell for, uh, Adachi, who's definitely not very social, but I think, you know, Kurosawa wasn't enjoying it either. He was really excited about his possible date with Adachi. Anyway, some person in that in that uh, party decided to make Kurosawa and Adachi kiss, which unacceptable, unacceptable, just unacceptable. Uh, even if you're drunk, not 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 good, guys. This is a workout in like the professionalism in this company. It's leaving it's leaving something to be desired. Uh, but Kurosawa doesn't kiss Arach. Well, he doesn't kiss him in the mouth. He actually kisses him in the forehead, and you know we can hear how sad he is and how sorry he is for doing it. And then you know they have a conversation, and he's you know sort of in his mind, apologizes to Adachi for being in love with him, which is heartbreaking. The whole thing, it's terrible. But Adachi suddenly has like an epiphany and decides to, you know, say, no, 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 I didn't hate it. Look, look. And, you know, it was fine. In, in his way, Adachi gave his, I, I don't know, gave his approval to the possibility of maybe... Um, Kurosawa kissing him. I don't know. I don't know if it was really an invitation because the, when Kurosawa decided to maybe take this invitation, he was pretty surprised. Uh, like, <laughs> what the hell is happening? So that's where we left off. They were about to kiss, which I can already call now. I don't think they are going to kiss. I think this whole thing, they having like a 30 second, uh, you know, wait like they slowly getting closer, their lips just, you know, inching towards each other. I think that's a bluff. I don't think there's going to be any kissing for now, hopefully in the future, but not for now. The other thing that we have about this episode is, uh, oh, I forgot the name of, <laughs> I forgot the name of Dachi's friend. Adachi's friend, Suge, there we go. Suge, um, Who's Adachi, who Adachi had gone to to ask for advice about his whole situation. Well, we already knew that he was also a virgin, but apparently now we also know that he's 30 uh, and that maybe he also has some powers because he seems to be reading the mind of this delivery boy who looks like a teenager, but I'm pretty sure, but, but he's, he's older, but he just looks very young. But he's, I'm pretty sure that he's older. Um, so that's where we left off. That is what's happening. So let's just continue with the episode. Let's just see, uh, what happens to interrupt this case because I'm, I have, I'm a hundred percent sure that this case isn't happening. If this case happens, I'm going to have a heart attack, but I already know that it's not going to happen. Um, so as usual, I'm going to put the, uh, link where I'm watching these episodes on, uh, not on the video, but on Tumblr. So I'm going to put the, my link to my Tumblr on the video, which is overly complicated. But look, we all have our issues. Um, I'm also just starting from the beginning. I'm not skipping anything. So just let's start with a video. Oh, I miss this guy so much. I'm so happy to be, to be back watching this. Uh, okay. So let's just go in three, two, one and go. Okay. We have like a little recap. 
So, you know, I didn't mind your kiss. And Kurosawa almost had a heart attack, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he does. Like, I don't think he understands the complete implications of what he's saying. Like, I don't think that was an invitation to kiss him, but I think Kurosawa take it as such. Oh, I would, I would literally die. If Kurosawa did that to me, I would just pass out. Like, fall to the floor. Oh, like that bottle there. Yeah, that, close your eyes. Close your eyes, Adachi, it's creepy. Oh, there we go. I knew it! I knew it! I knew that kiss wasn't going to happen. I didn't want to, you know, keep my hopes up because I knew it was going to, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> this guy. That cat is adorable. Oh, that that's it. That was that was not clear at all. Oh, Kurosawa is still waiting there. Oh, oh is he going to try again? Is this what's happening? Was was that a whole bluff, and now they're actually kissing again? Is, is, is that actually going to have a heart attack? Oh, there we are. Yes, it had to be Rukaku. Oh, yeah, he had sent him from medicine. Yes, let's please, let's please dispel some of the tension here. Oh. Yeah, I, I think so. I don't think... Adachi is ready for, uh, you know, to accept that level of intimacy. Yes, I agree with that. Oh, who wouldn't? Yeah, <laughs> even that is maybe too much for Adachi. Oh, oh, what that what was that? <laughs> Oh, is he avoiding him? Two weeks? Oh. I have the feeling that Adachi doesn't know how to deal with things. And avoidance seems to be the easiest thing for him. Yeah, I understand that. I wonder, I mean, obviously, I think also he feels like everything is a lot more intense. Oh, my God. Oh, I would. Oh, so same reaction. I would have called the police already. Um. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I could go for this too, like, you know, having something. Like, it's a strange relationship. Because I, it, just for the look of it, it doesn't look like they have a lot in common. But I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know the name of the boy. But maybe he'll surprise me. Maybe they have more in common than it seems. Oh, no way. Adachi will never react like that. He will never. I like how the whole visual aspect of this show is so interesting to watch. Like, I love it. Yeah, that cat is, that cat is living like, fuck this guy. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, oh. 
Oh, this song, this whole intro, I love it. Um, so I, as I was saying, I wonder if also part, I mean, obviously Adachi doesn't have an experience and he's obviously very socially awkward. Uh, so that already is something that affects the way he behaves. But at the same time, I wonder if also being able to read Kurosawa's mind doesn't make everything seems more intense because let's face it, Kurosawa is very intense and it's not his fault. Like the, what we think knowing that nobody else knows it, it, you know, it's not something that we really control all the time. Like we, we all think shit like this, probably when we have a crush, uh, we all think, you know, stupid shit that we would be very embarrassed for people to listen. But the fact that he can definitely maybe feels too much for him. So I think that is also something that adds to the situation. Where is, where is it, Archie? Oh. And he has been avoiding him for two weeks. Poor guy. Oh my god, Adachi! Oh, <laughs> that is not what I, I. If I saw like somebody doing that, I would think like, oh, I don't know, they they are having a panic attack or something. I wouldn't. Oh, your stomach hurts. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, she's pretty. Why? Oh, that's nice. I wish I could do that for my for my food, like take to work. I don't actually eat at work, but you know, it looks very nice. Oh, yeah, those type of expectations. And let me tell you, you turn 30 and it goes up to 100. Like, that's all they talk about. Oh, God, that is, no... I mean, parents sometimes do it, like, with a good intentions, but, my God. I'm not sure about that. I'm not so sure. But the thing is, if you put Adachi on the spot, he will say yes. Ah, yeah, no, I don't know about that. You see, he's not going to say no. Okay. We're just running errands today, apparently. <laughs> what is it? I, I, I really enjoyed this delayed reaction that he has. Well, now you see this. I really, I really empathize with this because every time I go by like a place that sells cakes or anything like that, I'm just stuck to the window. Like, love it. I just realized I have no idea, like, Japanese money? Like, what is the conversion? I'll, I'll ha I, that is going to bother me. I'll have to check it later. <laughs> you see, you definitely, why didn't you say no then? Well, I know why he didn't say no. That is true. I agree with it. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
that is that's an intense look. Is she going to fall for a gachi? I mean, I can't blame her. Yeah, I know it. But, I mean, who wouldn't like Adachi? He's actually a really nice guy. They have to buy a lot of things. What kind of errands do they have to run in that office? <laughs> The amazing, what is it, Fuji, Fujisaki? Oh, what about with Kurosawa? What? Who are, who is these people? A punk! Oh my god. I, you can really tell what kind of uh, upbringing I have and what kind of place that I have. If these guys did this to me, I would just kick them in the nuts. Oh, so nice. I'm surprised, like... That's true, but... Oh, oh! What is this violence? <laughs> I don't think that's the way to go. The thing is, when you deal with people like this... Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, yes, I like this. I like this. Oh, that is very possessive. You know what I find very attractive about Kurosawa is that he smiles and he tries to be polite when he's mad. Like he's feeding with anger and he still smiles and he's very polite. I find that very attractive. That also tells a lot about his character, like how um, self-controlled he is. Oh, why is this so adorable? Oh, no. I love them. That That is literally doing nothing. Like, he's literally just caressing his, ha his head. Like, his hair looks exactly the same. What I was going to say is that, you know, obviously this isn't good advice, but trying to reason with guys like that when they are harassing you, is it's useless. Like, listen, just buy pepper spray or something like that. I carry pepper spray everywhere, but I live in a shit neighborhood, so there we go. I think... Adachi sees himself more different to Grosawa what they actually are. Like, I think he sees, like, he puts Kurosawa on a pedestal and at the same time he, you know, does the opposite with himself. Yeah, I, you see, I don't think he's perfect. And I don't think he's got everything. I think it's very easy to judge based on the surface. And I think definitely Kurosawa is a perfectionist. Like, he portrays himself like that. But I don't know. I think they need to... Oh, oh. He liked him a little bit ago. <laughs> like, now we move to, to love? What is happening? I mean, he is very nice. He's very sweet. Oh, oh, y yes, she knows. She knows. Look at that face. 
I got you guys. I know, I know what's happening here. And also, you are not subtle. Like, the whole caressing his head thing, now just looking and smiling at each other across an, you know, elevator, lift. Oh. So she's not like... I mean, she likes him. Is she asexual? Maybe? I think? That would be interesting. I don't think that's something that we see enough in... You know, in the media. She's so pretty. I like how through his ability now he started to also understand more his co-workers. Like with uh, Rukaku, the other um, the other episode happened the same thing. Like you know, uh, he saw that Rukaku maybe just didn't want to be there and he, to help him. And now with, uh, oh God, why? That is disgusting. And uh, now with, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the name of the girl. But now with, uh, with this lady too, like, I don't think it's just about him and Kurosawa, but also about how he maybe relates to other people too. Uh, again, he's not perfect. I don't think so. I think he's plenty disappointed with himself. I don't believe that. Oh, what is he talking about? Why? Well, maybe he thinks that because Adachi has been avoiding him for like two weeks. Oh. That's what I mean. You don't really know how, you know, how people really are, what they are feeling or what they are going through. so nice that's the thing like Chris always such a nice guy Oh, he's so happy. Oh, that was adorable. Yeah, you see, I mean, he's a person. He He's not perfect. I 
and I think that also affects like how you feel about other people because if you're constantly thinking that other people is better than you because they are perfect or because they maybe don't have the same fears or anxieties that you have and that's bullshit like I think a lot of people do that and despite that they oh Fushisaki that's the that's the name that I have got oh he's so sweet see what I mean I think this is not just about him and Kurosawa, but also, you know, his relationships to other people. Oh. I love her. She's she's so nice. So, as I was saying, um, if you see that other people have the same nerves or the same anxieties and, or maybe not the same, but they also feel like that. And despite that, they are able to do things that maybe you can't do. Maybe that gives you the push to try to do things that you thought you were incapable of. I don't know. I it, I don't know. Yes, and all of the all of the images that I saw was him and Kurosawa. That's fair enough. You see, I, I that I, uh, what? What do you mean he messed up? Who is that guy? And everybody's watching. That's the worst. What's happening? What's this music? Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's just... Here, take this. What is he going to do? Okay, that, that was the end of it. Okay, so apparently um, Alach is going to do something. I think, if I have to guess, I'll say that maybe he's going to try to use his powers to, to you know... Maybe help Arachi. I think that would be like the best thing to happen. Um, okay, another fantastic episode. I love this show. Uh, again, I also love the fact that it's this. I, I think I, this is the third time I said this in this uh, in this reaction. But it's not just about you know specifically about uh, Arachi and romantic relationships, but about how he you know, how he can improve the way he relates to other people and the way he, you know, um, just he, his life in general, how uh, that can change with this. Not that I think, obviously, <laughs> reading people's minds is, is you know, necessarily uh, what you need for that. But uh, I'm really looking forward to see that uh, as well as uh, the progression of this relationship, which already is lovely. I love it. Um, okay, so I think I, I spoke plenty <laughs> during the reaction, so I, I don't I don't have anything else to say about this. Uh, at least this cliffhanger is a little, li a little bit you know, not as bad as the one from the previous episode, but, um, you know, I still want to see what the hell is uh, Kurosawa, not Kurosawa, Adachi is going to do, especially because, and obviously I, I don't know that much about Japanese culture, but it doesn't seem to be a culture that is very, um, uh, very likely to, it's like, it doesn't seem like a culture that they touch each other a lot. And this is coming from a Latin American. I'm Argentinian. And believe me when I tell you, <laughs> touching is not a big thing. You could touch everybody. And like, I, obviously, I mean, regular touch, like touch somebody in the shoulder, on the arm or something like that. Casual touches, like with people you don't know, people in the street, people in the bus, it doesn't matter. Uh, obviously not now. See, you know, the situation now has changed quite a bit. Uh, but definitely it would be, you know, it's a lot more normal uh, 
at least uh, here where I live. I don't see that in, in Japanese culture. It seems like they are a little bit more, um, let's say, respectful of your space and uh, of not just casually touching people. So I'm curious about how he's going to, you know, essentially read this guy's mind like touch him to do it uh, if that's if that's what he do I, I think it is i think he's going to try to to help him with that but i don't know we're, we're going to see we're going to see uh next week on uh thursday which is when i upload it although i actually watch them on wednesday i upload on thursday so this is it thank you for everybody who stayed with me so far and uh, i guess i'll see you all again uh next week on thursday so bye bye guys